Have you taken a still photo like this and turned it into a video like this? This is not a drone video, by the way. That's from a still photo. Hey, this is Scott with Showing Off. So I'm going to give you a quick uh, rundown of how you can use Artlist now, one of the largest providers of licensed music for creators, with their new product here, their AI image and video. Now, they have text image where you can describe your image and create your image a lot like other service providers do, like CapCut and such. But their image to video stood out to me. A lot of people are starting to get into image to video and their quality is not just your 720, which, by the way, they'll give you a free 720 generation if you sign up for a free account. But you do have to pay to get the upgraded full HD they call the 1080. Now, there are some other sites, believe it or not, that are dabbling in 2K, 4K that I'll touch on later. But for this benefit, there are some providers like Auto Reel, which I did, and there'll be a link in my description below, which has a realtor or real estate photographer based service that allows you to choose your images, choose your music, et cetera. This is a one by one system. However, the quality is amazing and the pricing I think is really good as well. So when you choose the 1080, you can choose either five or 10 seconds. Going back to the still photo in the intro. I wanted to show you both the 720 quality, which was not shown earlier, and the 1080 quality. You can see the difference. That's why I upgraded. But let's go through the process with Artlist. I'm going to choose the 1080. It tells you you have a thousand credits. Other great thing is it gives you a suggested AI prompt, which you can totally change. This here says animate the front door of the house. When you open and close gradually, simultaneously pan the camera slowly from left to right, revealing the house and the surroundings. Additionally, add a subtle zoom effect to the house to emphasize its architecture. I'm going to go ahead and keep most of this. I'm going to get rid of the front door opening. I don't need that to happen because I also don't know if how good that would be. I'm going to go with pan the camera slowly from left to right, revealing the house and its surroundings. Additionally, add a subtle zoom in effect for the house on the house to emphasize its architecture. But I definitely want to choose five seconds because that's all I need. And I want to choose a 1080p because it's much better than the 720. A lot of these services you'll find online that either do it for free, like Google Photos, or for less money or very little money, it's going to be a 720 resolution, which I don't think is, is very good unless you're just doing it for fun. Just picking this back up towards the end of the generation, this is probably taking, I want to say, two to three minutes, four tops. Here you go. So let's go ahead and play this, this video. It does a little pan left. It should be doing a zoom in as well. It should not be, it's not doing much here. Here it goes. And from left to right, we told it it's really panning from right to left, but pretty amazing quality. A lot of these services just do a zoom in, and you can see some imperfections of this virtual dusk photo because the sunlight looks like it's hitting the left side of the house. But that's pretty darn cool. Let's try the interior of the house to show you the quality there. Again, I'm going to choose the five second duration, and I'm going to choose the 1080. And I'm going to animate it for a thousand credits. It's going to give you a suggested prompt here. We can use it or we can update it a bit. Make the kitchen island glide smoothly to the left. We don't really want to make the, the, the island glide smoothly to the left. Camera starts from the entrance, painting the capture of the kitchen area, allowing for a wide angle of the movement. How about we we basically slowly zoom in to the kitchen island. While orbiting and then orbit to the left around the island to Go the kitchen. Let's try that. So we've taken this image from the kitchen. We told it to slowly zoom into the kitchen and orbit to the left or on the island of the kitchen. And within five minutes, we get this. It's really orbiting to the right. So the AI has some some imperfections, but the quality is still pretty incredible. It brings in the look of a room to the left that really does not exist. 
That is not the authentic room. It's kind of like some AI virtual staging. You've got to be really careful here. And that's why some of these technologies are just using a, a slow zoom in and keeping it at that right now because some of these artifacts are being done to the point where I would have to crop that out or cut that out. So I'm going to go ahead and again, upload to 1080, choose the five seconds. I'm going to show you three more picture renditions here and be careful with the suggested prompt. I'm really just wanted to kind of zoom in and, and orbit to the left a little bit. I don't really want to slowly sway the side of the stairwells. So we're going to say zoom in smoothly and slowly and to the left as you enter the living room. Let's see what happens. So here's the idea here. I did want to zoom in and, and kind of go left a little bit, but it also, again, added some some artifacts in this room which didn't exist. So that is a problem. You have to be careful with this technology. To recap, I set this image of this living room, kitchen and, and backyard in the background there. Took the automated prompt to animate the sofa in the living room to slide smoothly to the left, creating a budding space as it moves stuff. Slowly shift the camera to follow the motion, enhancing the sense of the depth in the room. Position of view from the sofa to the windows, highlighting a beautiful outdoor scenery. And this is what it gave me. I'm very happy with it, actually. The orbiting is just really neat, as long as it doesn't give you extra rooms on the edges. Let's try this living room image. What is a 1080? And the purpose here is I really want to show you not just the capabilities of the image of video, but how it actually should make this fire move. So when I go to animate, Let's see what the suggested prompt is. This is interesting. I don't know how it's going to sway the curtains open. Subtly, uh, let's just go with it. I don't really want to change it too much. It's, my main goal is to see, uh, not only how it does, is to see what the fire pit does. So with this image, you're going to see that fire move as I was hoping. But what was interesting is with this suggested prompt to animate the sofa, to slide slightly right, giving the impression of movement as it moves slowly, zoom in on the sofa to enhance focus as texture and color. That was not a slow zoom. That was pretty much a speed ramp that you're about to see. Simultaneously have the window curtains gently sway open, revealing the glimpse of the outdoors. That's interesting. They're actually closing. And the camera should pan subtly upwards at a, to highlight the tall ceilings and large windows. See, it kind of closes. It doesn't open it. It's going to be real careful here, and it doesn't really go upwards at all. I think less is more with these. In summary, if you do go to the Artlist website and you click on AI image to video, it shows you here how to get started. And it even lets you do one free 720. If you want to go to the 1080, you'll have to subscribe. I do wish it gave you samples like my video did, but it does not. So I actually just got a month to see how this works. And I made it easy for a client. There are a lot of options out there. And I look forward to showing what those are as I find them. And lastly, show you that pricing. I think it's extremely reasonable here. You can get the AI suite only by the year or by the month. This is $29.99 for the month. That is on a yearly basis. If you do a monthly basis, it goes to at least $39.99. So even at $39.99, you're getting 40 HD videos. So if you're doing 10 a video, 15, whatever it might be, it still comes out to a dollar per photo to video. So that's a 10 to $15 cost per video that you make. It's pretty darn good. Yes, you have to do some work in the back end, but you can assure your music is on par to get monetized if, if that's your desire, as well as set the beats the music and, and even do a the order in which you want to do that in. So I think it's a great option. Thanks for watching.